the one pair of pants that you got from the thrift that you thought were so cool and even though they're too big for you, you bought them anyway and now they're just sitting in your closet taking up a necessary space? Well, today's the day to all those cool big baggy pants, learn how to crop that sweater that doesn't involve just cutting with a pair of scissors, and maybe turn something trendy into something more sustainable. Hey guys, it's Koi Case and welcome to my very first lip flip. Jumping right in, we are starting with the most intimidating thing for me, which is resizing pants. I found this beautiful Carhartt baby about a year ago, and while I've been able to get by with the shoelace, I'd love to be able to have more versatility with these and wear some cute cropped springtime looks with them. If you were like me and forgot how to put thread in your sewing machine, or it's your first time, there's a link to the instructions I was following below. I also want to mention this recessing tutorial is best suited for pants that are only a size or two off. If your pants are much bigger than that, there's a link down below that can go more in depth on how to resize those. Moving right along, with your pants being worn inside out, grab a white colored pencil to mark your pants. Pinch the back of your pants in the middle until it's nice and snug on your waist. Take your pencil and draw a line from the top of the fold all the way to the bottom of your bum. Now you have a guide to sew along. If you have a belt loop where you are going to sew, take a seam ripper and remove it so you have the option to sew it back on later. While holding your fold, stand the structured hem up vertically so it stays as symmetrical as possible and sew along the mark you made. When you reach the end, taper it off towards the same direction the original hem is going. I use a straight stitch with a tension around 6. Adjust and re-sew if you need to. Once it feels like it fits right, cut the excess fabric from the inside and sew back on the belt loop if you'd like. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here are my finished Carhartt pants. So as you can see, the belt loops are pretty snug in the back compared to the front and the sides. But I kept it on there because I wanted to cover the top part of the darting because it's not exactly even. It kind of breaks off in the butt crack area, but I didn't want to completely cover that. Now it's much more snug on me. There is a little extra waist room, but I'm just leaving it there because I can always tuck in things to it. I don't want the pockets to get too normal. So I'm very happy with how these came out. If you're like me and you haven't processed that it's springtime, you can always crop your sweaters and wear them over your springtime apparel on those cooler days. I thrifted this funky sweater in Amsterdam almost exactly two years ago. Despite the sweater being itchy as hell, I have decided to alter it instead of donate it because of the funky design and of course the nostalgia. Maybe I'll be less itchy because there's less fabric. Okay, I can literally feel how itchy it is right now. First thing you need to do is grab a safety pin to mark out where exactly you want to crop it. I'm using my favorite pair of high-waisted jeans for reference. Now that the sweater is marked, fold the sweater inside out from the bottom up to the desired length. I was scared the sleeves would get messed up with a higher crop length, so I moved the length down. If you are smarter than me, pin all along the bottom where the sweater folds to ensure the length is the same all throughout. You'll see later why not doing that is a big mistake. Now it's time to grab that big chunky sewing machine. Wrap the sweater around the sewing machine arm and start sewing right below the ripped hem of the sweater and continue doing that all the way across the sweater. I use a zigzag stitch and a tension around 6 or 7. As you can see, I start losing control of the length and there's folds where I am sewing so I spend a good minute being in denial of the situation and this happens. So I have managed to get my sweater stuck in the sewing machine. Or the thread's lost. I'm a little stressed. Also, I definitely like did not do this even, so I'm really excited to see how this looks. So I basically spend the next hour or so being dumb trying to figure out by myself, instead of going to the internet, by first re-threading the needle and pretending it's not jammed, which obviously did not work. Second, I tried pulling out the little fuzz of fabric with my hands and scissors, which did not work either. And third, I finally did the smart thing and looked up how to unjam it, and you just have to remove the pieces surrounding the fabric, pull out that fabric, and screw the pieces back in. When your sweater is finally all sewn up, you are going to cut that extra fabric underneath. Here I am confused by my mess. I decide to cut a random part to finish it off and hope for the best. And that rhymed. <laughs> I know there's obviously a lot of um, errors. But I kind of snapped. The length is really cool. It's like perfect for like my high-waisted pants. Pretty symmetrical. Sweater is still in fact itchy, but <laughs> this is it. I cuffed my sweater, babe. Really? Mm-hmm. Wait, can you show me what can you show me what it looked like before? Oh, you see it there. Now, see it now. Dude, that is sick. 
I love it. It's so like I love the boxiness of it. It's like a much more yeah. flattering it silhouette. Yeah, it's a nice like silhouette. That was a plan. So it's actually wonky. It like a part I messed up. And technically it's kind of wonky everywhere, but like I love it like that because it's like my first project. So I'm really proud of myself. The back looks really good. Like I think the mm. back looks really like. <laughs> proud of you, boo. That's sick. Thanks, love. Thanks. Bye, I love you. Love you. Next, I have this beautiful green half zip sweater that I also want to crop. All my pants and shorts are high waisted, so cropping my sweaters makes for a much better silhouette. For this sweater, you are going to repeat the same steps from our last one. Mark where you would like to crop it, fold it inside out from the bottom, actually pin around the bottom fold, and sew a zigzag stitch with a tension around six right below the hem. There is not a large ribbed hem, so I'm sewing right below the original edge of the sweater. And lastly, cut off that extra fabric and you're all done. Here is the finished crop jacket. As you can see, there is this problem because I didn't serge it and I just let it... So yeah, that's why I'm gonna have fuzz everywhere now, but that's okay because it's pretty cute. I think that it I cropped it a little too much. I would prefer it to be like right here and I know it looks like it is here, but the back. <laughs> Lots of back, and I don't mind a good crop thing, but I personally just think it's gonna last longer if it's more of that like clean cut here. It feels like really trendy, like too trendy for me, but it works. I still love this sweater a lot, so I think I can get a lot more wear out of it than I did before because of where I was cut before. So I'm pretty content with it. Seven, six, six to seven out of ten on this one. Last but not least, I have a super cute trendy little top. The only problem with it is that these beautiful, cute little arm sleeves cut my circulation off. I'm basically going to get a seam ripper and just make it disappear. And hopefully I'll get a cute little tube top that I know I'll wear for a while because this color is precious. We saved the easiest one for last. Grab your seam ripper and pull up the fabric so you were able to see the seam and just go for it. I was also not a fan of the clear elastic and luckily it came off right with the arm sleeves. And there you have it. Here's my tube top. This one was the easiest one, which is really nice. The only problem is the elastic in the inside. It looks like it might fall apart, possibly. So I'll just have to redo the seam on that later, but I'm just gonna wait till that problem arises. For now it works, it still stretches. There's really no like blemishes or um, marks or anything from taking off the sleeves. So now I can keep the top and I don't have to get rid of it because I just took off the sleeves that were hurting my arms. Those are all the third flips I have for you today. I hope you found these alter issues useful and are satisfying as they were for me. Let me know which third flip was your favorite. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! that sound oh no I thought I could pretend that thing was fine but it looks like I can't now it's messing up everything came back out to play this demon fuzz